almost like a hibern hibernating bear. Exactly. This is exactly what's happening. You're just hibernating. You're eating, and then you sleep off. You just sleep, right? You binge eat, and then you sleep. See? Look, I just got food poisoning. So that's actually good, because then I can kind of oh. binge eat any raw oh, things that I have still. Die. Um, let's see. I don't have anything raw, I don't think, so... We're just gonna do go back to condition and eat anything very low. Uh, so take the venison. That's always sketchy. Okay, what conditions were these? 44, 45. All right. So we have to be very careful right now. Because our condition is very low. So we have to make sure we take care. Okay, so we're good. On that. Alright, let's drink some antiseptic. Uh, not antiseptic, uh, antibiotics. Alright, and then the other thing is just 10 hours rest, so... That's basically it. So now if we sleep, if you look here, our fatigue is going up and our condition is 12%, but our hunger is low, so we should get that fatigue down and our condition up. Well, once the food poisoning is gone, that is. We can get our foot, our, our, um, our condition up. Because we still have two hours left? Sure, we'll do two more. So yeah, that's why I, I say around 15%. Because in the case that you do get food poisoning, uh, it does keep ticking down, even though you're sleeping and taking care of your hunger and stuff, so... Alright, so if I sleep now, it should bring my condition back up. And voila! Look at that, from 12%, 26%, so, you know, just keep sleeping until your condition is pretty high again, and then start the cycle over. Hooray! 40%. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get your condition back up. Just a couple of sleep cycles <sighs> is good. In fact, you can probably sleep through and get, still get hungry or starving. And the starving doesn't take effect for a bit. You'll still get your um, condition up. I believe. Yeah, you're still getting your condition up even though you're very near red and still sleep. So all you need to do is just eat some one thing and then go back to sleep and get your condition up. So let's hope this doesn't... give us food poisoning. It's always sketchy that venison. Alright, so yeah. Starving is not a condition that you are threatened by, really. You have a lot of time to fix it. It's dehydration, coldness, um, any of the, the other afflictions that are really bad that you want to take care of immediately. Okay, hopefully I didn't dehydrate much or at all while sleeping. Nope, I'm dehydrated, so let's drink. There you go. And I could probably sleep another four hours, even though my condition is really high for hunger. It should still bring my condition up. So 84% to what? Let's see. 94%. So it's about 10% as long as your hunger is below the red. I believe that's how that works. Oops.
Where's our food? We eat one more low condition thing, like a candy bar. Alright, and then we'll go to sleep some more. So this should give us... Uh, back up to 100% I think. Did they plan that mechanic for the game? I'm not sure Android, probably not. Just because it's such a weird mechanic and it's easily ex exploited. They tried to fix it in this patch before hunger or fatigue wasn't affected by hunger. So now they linked fatigue with hunger because before the new map came out, you could literally be starving and keep doing chores and stuff like that. But this time you can't because you get fatigued very quickly when you're starving. Um, so, but the sleep mechanic part works too, still. I think that was done last time as well. Uh, Pre-new patch, or pre-new map. So yeah, uh, that's that's about it. Oops. Let's uh, eat something. I'm actually not done looting this map, so I don't want to do the cycle too much until I have all the food here in this base, and then I can keep doing that cycle. Um, but probably before I do that, I'll set up um, some rabbit traps. I still have a lot of bullets as well. Uh, I think I've only used two of the bullets that I have discovered. Let's see here. So I have six in here, and then... Oh, well, seven, and then the actual rifle itself, I believe, has about ten bullets in or so. Actually, let me check. Uh, tool. Equip. Nine. Okay, I have nine. So, okay. That's cool. Alright, we'll put it back in. I don't actually use my, my rifle. I won't be- I actually need to repair it as well. So... Yeah, but as far as that sleeping eating mechanic, I have no idea if they planned that out. Or they were- um, they're aware of it, obviously. Because they tried to not make it so OP, but it's still very much OP. Let's actually eat the pork and beans. Alright. We're just gonna uh, go outside and inside real quick to save the game. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Hopefully there's no wolf out there. And then we're going to do some uh, indie games. If you're interested in uh, watching me play some like upcoming indie games that are coming out, uh, please stick around. If not, thank you for watching me play The Long Dark. Alright, hold on guys. Let me load up some of the... Uh, one of the indie games that I have. Let's see, which one should we start off with? Should we start off with the scary one, or should we leave the scary one for later? Because there are some scary ones, or at least one of them is scary, that I know of. Let's start off with a silly one, okay? Let's start off with a really silly one. This one's called Victor. V-I-K-T-O-R. <laughs> oh god, it's loud. see if I can game capture it. There we go. Oh, are you on the new map? And can you still play the old map? Yes, you can go back and forth from the new map to the old map. Uh, there's actually a tunnel near the dam. If you know where the dam is in the old map, there's that tunnel if, you, if you're facing away from the dam. Like if you're just leaving the dam, just go left and that's how you can enter uh, the coastal highway map. Which one is scary? Um, it's called 
One Final Breath is actually built for the Oculus Rift. I don't have Oculus Rift, but yeah, hold on, let me mess around with the volume levels. The, the game is so loud. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Let me check to see if the title is on um, Steam. Victor, it is. Okay, here we go. Let's update. Wow, I didn't realize this uh, this game was actually on uh, s uh, not Steam on Twitch, so I can actually change my Twitch title. But yeah, one final breath is the scary one. I don't think I have any other scary ones except that one. So yeah, okay, we'll start off with this one. New game. I have no idea what this is. I think this is a p point and click adventure. A vast empire of concrete and steel, where the rich lived high up in the towers while the less fortunate had no hope for a change. Little did they know that the change was just beginning to happen at that very moment. It began with a wild pig, a boar if you will. His name was Victor and he was a simple street sweeper with a good heart and mild megalomania. Every day he would find it harder and harder to stand the desperation around him. Then, one day, destiny intervened in the form of his employer. Victor, you are fired, he said. You are reading newspapers on the job, and your street is filthy. That's not fair, protested Victor. You're just like this empire, and his whole world of greed and cruelty. This won't stand, he was yelling. I will change this. I will change all of you. Yeah? asked his ex-employer. And what are you going to do? Become the new emperor of Austro-Hungary? Victor scoffed at him. Maybe I will. Maybe I will become more than that. Maybe I will become the emperor of the whole world. His employer watched him with confused disinterest. I don't think that even exists, he commented. But Victor was already gone home to take a long bath and ponder on his newfound goal. This is great! I'm a guy that's fired. My arrow key? Whoa. I really need to take a bath. Use pickup. Talk to inventory. What the fuck? Can I move? I guess I can. What the? Why is he eating? Stop eating your face off! How do I move? Use pickup. Oh, okay. Hey, this gramophone is also my menu for saving and loading. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And now to take that bath. Dude, I'm trying to get you over there. It's my bathtub and bed. Currently, it's a bed. Alright. I need to bathe. How do you see bathe? It's a toilet. Does he bathe in the mud? So lovely to have one in the bedroom. Maybe he does. You know what? Oh, it's also a kitchen. Gross. Alright. I kind of want to keep looking at stuff. It's me and Martin, my best friend. He claims he can guess the future. Once in ten times, he is absolutely right. <laughs> it's a carpet. Actually, it was a carpet. Now it's just a hole with some carpet around it. <laughs> what the fuck? This fucking game already. It's a game I made from an old chessboard. Few tin figures and some playing uh, playing cards. I call it Cyclops Chess. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this says I hate you. What the fuck? How do I take a bath? Victor, what is this? Oh, 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 I see. There we go. I have to use the arm thingy. And that's how I turn my bed into a bathtub. <laughs> Ew, it's full of roaches. Okay, maybe, what is this? Could I? I'm not touching them with my fingers. Hmm. Can you kick them? 
Ew, I'm not getting roaches on my only boots. God, you're so picky, Victor. I should heat this one first. Oh my god. How's the uh, sound levels for you guys? Is it too low, too loud? I don't want to bathe in cockroaches again. How do I kill the cockroaches? What's this? Hey, a coin! Oh! I got some money. Okay. And I got an umbrella. Fabulous! This game might come in handy. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick every single shit up in here. Just in case we need them. I already went at work into the filing cabinet. <laughs> I can't reach it. What? How on earth did it get there? Okay, probably the party I had on Saturday. What is that? With myself. <laughs> He had a party by himself, you guys. That's sad. This should be fun. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, oh! Damn. Oh, come on. What did I get? My cordless phone. It's a cordless phone. It's a, <laughs> There's like numbers on it. That's hilarious. And there's like a, a little thing you twist. This is where the music comes from. A coin. A rain protection device with an added eye poking ability. I need another player to play this game. Okay. Let's see if we can take the painting. I modified it enough. <laughs> Stupid teapot. Oh, what? Why? Why would he do that? Okay, let's see if we can get anything else. I read them already. I couldn't bear reading again about poor Shere Khan's death. Hehe, <laughs> bear. What? That doesn't even make any sense. I'll just leave it here. It doesn't fit in the trash can. What does the trash can have for us? I throw stuff in it for a reason. Alright, let's see if we can kill the things with... Hey, this is where I left my Scott Joplin record. Stupid roaches almost ate it. Time to rain terror. Heh <laughs> rain. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, ew, ew. Wow, this game right now. No, they're so fast. Guys, my, my counter strike so skills are not working against these roaches. Oh god. Oh god. Gimme. Fuck you. Come back. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Not to put water inside. To bathe and also to wash away the roaches. Dude, you're gross. How about heating it first? Oh, come on! The oven has been stuck since the last time I kicked it. Oh, let's kick it then. Die, evil hell spawn oven. Hey, I can finally open it now. Alright. It is open now. I just need to start the fire with something. Um. What do I use? Oh, oh, here we go. Log. Can I get more? I don't need more of them. Okay. I miss point and click adventures. Nice. There we go. Can we pick up the, uh, the vase parts? Not even magic would, le uh, would help this thing, let alone my hands. <laughs> Besides, I think it's locked. Why does he have a locked, um, clock? Oh, look at this. There's like weird sh shit surrounding. Okay, is this ready? It's boiling? It's an airship outside. You guys, all this effort to take a bath. That's ridiculous. Hold on a second. Uh. 
Okay. Oh, what did he do? It's extremely hot. Well, go in there. I might burn myself. Oh, god damn it. Okay, maybe we should take this? There we go. The borders for the game looks funny. Yeah, it's... It's, it's charmingly drawn, I, should, I would say. Alright, let's use it now. Go. Finally time to bathe. Finally! Damn phone! Trin trin trin! That was refreshing. I oh, know. Hello? Hey Victor, call me up. I got no money for phone calls. Martin, wait! Damn, I forgot his phone number. <laughs> now where did I write down his number? Oh, oh, oh! It was over here. It was... I've, 35022, I think. 35022. Nobody's answering? I need to find where I wrote Martin's phone number. Three, oh, 32055. Derp. 32055. <laughs> Dude is high as fuck! You have reached Martin the Magnificent. Please state the nature of your psychic emergency. Wow, he's like high as fuck right now, you guys. Hey Martin, it's me, Victor. Greetings, Martin. I wish to inquire about my fortune. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have dialed the wrong number. Um, just for lols, we'll click the middle one. Greetings, Martin. Martin. I wish to inquire about my fortune. Hey, what's up, Mr. Octocat? Uh, you wish to seek the answers? I sense, I sense a familiar voice. Uh, mother, is that you? I'll try to do it in his voice. <laughs> yes, this is mother. Let's troll him. I decided to stop sending you money until you finish school. <laughs> or Martin, you dumbass. It's me, Victor. <laughs> Which one should we pick? He's totally tripping out. Um, <laughs> I decided to stop sending you money until... Okay, let's troll him some more. Yes, this is mother. I decided to stop sending you money until you finish school. Wait, please! I... <laughs> Victor, is that you? <laughs> no, this is Mother Hoot. Martin, I got fired. Man, you won't believe what I'm planning to do now. <laughs> I just want to laugh. Hey, what's up, Gemini Crime? Oh my god, long time. No, no talk, man. Long time, no talk. I missed you, Gemini. I missed you. You came. You came on just on in time to watch more weird games. So I want to do the uh, the laughing. That's not really laughing. Dearest friend, I am not in the mood for hostile merriment. <laughs> Unless you come over and bring Cyclops chess with you. No time for that, Martin. I just got fired, and I have a new plan to make everything better. All right. What the hell, Victor? How could you get fired from street sweeping? <laughs> Did you sweep in the wrong direction or something? <laughs> this game has really good dialogue. Really funny dialogue. I did miss you, Gemini. I miss all my viewers that are gone for a while and then come back. But especially you, Gemini. I don't want to talk about it. My whole life has been going in the wrong direction, but I have a way to fix it. Well, first the car blew away by leaves, then the newspaper hit me in the face, and while I was, um... Let's do the middle one. He even has a bong next to him. I know, right? There it is. If this is like what that plan when you wanted to turn your landlord's bed into a time machine... <laughs> I'm not visiting you in the hospital again. This time, I have a perfect plan for us. A plan to take over the Empire and finally make everything right. Actually, this one might get us killed or make us the supreme ru rulers of Austro-Hungary. Wow. Okay. I want to do this one. Oh no! I think my tobacco plants got hit by lightning. I have to hang up now. Martin, please, I cannot do it without you. 
Wait, wait, conquering the empire would solve all our financial problems. Fine, don't help me. See if I care. Goodbye. But this is an opportunity to use your psychic powers for the ultimate good. <gasps> Let's play to his uh, weakness, his psychic powers. Uh, it's called Victor, uh, Gemini. Since you put it that way, I might be able to help. Heck yeah! Look, we just manipulated our best friend. Wonderful, with my strength and your wisdom, we'll conquer the Empire. Excellent, I'll bring over the map and show you the plan. First, we need to leave Agram, preferably by airship. Oh man. This is much better. We will conquer the Empire. Yes, my wisdom shall guide you. Whenever you call me, I can give you guidance. Oh, come on, man. You could do much more if you got your lazy butt off the pillow. Well, that's close enough, I guess. Can you also give me some money? I think I hear my landlord sneaking in the hallway. <laughs> True best friends. Let's get some money from him. Is it time for me to go now? I have very pressing matters to do. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, Victor. May the spirits protect you. Goodbye. What spirits? Wait, I need money for my rent. Wait, what spirits? He hung up. <laughs> yes, it really is a bong. Time to go out and conquer the world. Oh, man. Okay, let's make sure. Maybe we can get the plant. No, we can't. Can we get another one? I don't need more of them. Oh, I don't even need it. Okay. Maybe... Can we pick up the ink thingy? I read them already, okay. Can we flush it? No. I, I throw stuff in it for a reason. <laughs> Good old grandfather clock. Okay. I think we've done everything we can in here. Oh, look, keys. Oh, and a map. We should take the map as well. Got some keys. We'll, we'll, oh, oh wait, we can get the brush, I think. I don't want to bathe too often. It's not good for the body. Oh, I just noticed that his little stove pipe, he just smashed it against the window. That's hilarious. Alright, let's pick up the map. It's just fine here on my wall. Oh, we can't pick it up. Alright, let's get out of here. Finally ready. Nothing can stop me now. Oh no! Your rent is late. Time for you to die, pig boy. I'm actually a boar. Wait, I have the money. Help! I'm being murdered! <laughs> uh, should we be sarcastic to him? Or, or yell in panic? Or tell him we have the money? I'm gonna tell him we have the money. Wait, I have the money! All right. All right. How much, how much money do you have? Do you guys like me doing the voices for the characters? Is or is it annoying? <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to saw you so I could live longer. Uh, I think I have a copper crown or two on me. Have you ever heard of crowdfunding? <laughs> The map looks like someone tried to eat it. It does, actually. He probably tried to eat it. Because he's constantly eating. Oh my god, there's like blood out there. That's scary. Or is it ketchup? It's ketchup. So maybe he was walking in, he dropped his hamburger or whatever on the wall, right? Let's believe that this is ketchup and not blood. Uh, maybe we can give him the, like, that five cent coin that we have. You are still worth more as pork chops. Okay then, let's play a round of Cyclops chess. Winner gets the house. Well, I have another option. See, there's people who might want to fund me. Let's do the people who might want to fund me. Hit him with the umbrella? What the hell are you talking about, pig? It's this thing where thousands of people give money so I continue on my adventure. Hit him with the umbrella? I can't, I can't access the inventory from while in the dialogue situation. You're losing yourself again, pig! 
You die now! Wait, wait, wait. Give me some time and I'll get all the rent you need. Rent money! One month! Right here! Wow, she's super mean. So, can I go now? No! What? We wait here. What? While we wait, could you just take a look at this webpage? What page? <laughs> look where it takes me. Hold on. It exits the game.